Many of the UK's inland waterways, including the River Thames, used to be home to the white-clawed crayfish, but alas, no longer. The crayfish plague, which is caused by a water malt, has devastated crayfish populations across Europe. In the 1970s, the signal crayfish, a species found in North America, was brought to the UK to be farmed commercially. Inevitably, some escaped into our waterways. The crayfish plague coexists with the signal crayfish, causing it no harm, but it is easily transferred to our white-clawed crayfish, where it attacks the soft tissue of the animal. Besides spreading the crayfish plague, the invasive signal crayfish causes other problems. It is bigger than the white-clawed crayfish, has more young, are aggressive and have ferocious appetites, outcompeting the white-clawed crayfish for both food and shelter if they are present in the same area. They also cause erosion of riverbanks by burrowing into them. Their burrows can be up to two metres deep with many interconnecting tunnels that weaken the bank and lead it to collapsing. The crayfish plague is spread by waterborne spores which are released from the infected crayfish. These spores can survive for up to two weeks in damp conditions, but can be killed by drying or disinfecting. It is vital that the spread of crayfish plague and the signal crayfish themselves is prevented to waterways that are not already infected. To do this, people using the river are asked to follow the check, clean and dry code. This entails checking equipment and clothing after leaving the water for mud, aquatic animals or plant material and removing anything you find and leaving it at the site. You need to clean everything thoroughly as soon as you can, paying attention to areas that are damp or hard to access. Use hot water if possible. Dry everything for as long as you can before using elsewhere. Remember, the spore can survive for over two weeks in damp conditions. It is unlikely that we will ever see our native white-clawed crayfish in this part of the Thames again, but we can help stop it from invading other waterways by following the check, clean and dry code. So if you use the water, then please use the code. The question to answer for this part of the SciCash challenge is as follows. What are the three words used in the code that helps prevent the spread of the invasive signal crayfish and its fungal spores? If you have enjoyed this video, then please take a look at some of my others. Subscribe, like and share with your like-minded friends.